Hi guys, so in this video, I'm going to talk about my Atlassian SD2 interview experience. So I had applied for the role of SD2 with Atlassian some time back and I had applied to it via referral. And after the referral, like after two days only, I got the call from recruiter that my profile has been shortlisted and I will like, they would like to conduct interviews with me. So they told me that the first round would be around data structures and algorithms and it would be taken by Carrot. So in case you don't know, uh, Carrot is a third party company which basically provide these recruiting services. Like you can read about Carrot at Carrot.com. So anyways, so the interview day came and it was around data structures and algorithms. So the first question the interviewer asked was this basic calculator 2, which is present on lead code by the name of basic calculator 2. You can read about this question. So I was, I had already solved this question before. So I was able to solve this question and I passed all the test cases and after that he asked the second question which he asked was again this question from lead code only basic calculator which is the problem number 224 it's a hard problem but i was able to solve this as well and pass all the test test cases so whenever in dsl algo rounds what you should usually do is that you should start basically whenever interview interviewer gives you a question you should uh clarify all the requirements from him like what are the input constraints and what kind of output he is expecting and uh, then you should give the brute force solution and go on to you know the most optimized solution after you have given the most optimized solution and the interviewer is satisfied with your approach then only go to the coding part so yeah uh, after this the interviewer had asked me one more question i don't think that question is present on lead code but it was another hard problem and it was based on this calculator only. So I was able to pass through this round and after I think one day I got the call from recruiter that they would like to conduct the second round of interview with me. And this time the interview was taken by someone from Atlassian only. I think he was a senior guy from Atlassian and it was a design round. So the question which he asked me was low level design of API rate limiter. So this wasn't a system design or high level design, but this was a low level design where he was expecting the code from me, like how would the classes look like, how would classes interact with each other. So you can uh, basically Google about this and maybe you would be able to find out some good resources around low level design of API rate limiter. But yeah, again, I was able to solve this. And after that, I moved to the third round and third round of interviewer wo interview was again a data structural algorithm round. So in that round, I think interviewer asked me a couple of questions. They were around three, four questions and all were the variation of this question only, which is present on lead quote, which is problem number 1366, rank team by votes. So in this case, uh, the most important thing, like this is not a very hard problem, but the most important thing to take care about here was that interviewer only give like how the winner and lose will be decided, but he did not give how the tie should be broken. So I was like, when I went through the problem statement, I tried to think of all kind of, you know, edge cases, test cases. And after that, I realized that interviewer has not given me the criteria for tie baking. So I asked that from him and he was very impressed by that, like uh, that before jumping into the solution. I was able to think through the problem. So once I had all the information, I went on to give my solution and coded it. And after that, like he, as I said, he asked me a couple of variation of this. And after the third round, I moved to the hiring manager round. So hiring manager round was a typical HR, like it was more of a semi-tech round where there were tech questions and some questions, some behavioral questions as well. So I think that was all about my interview experience, interview experience at Atlassian. It was for SD2 role, as I mentioned, in case you don't know what Atlassian is, like what Atlassian does. So it basically builds tools like Jira, Confluence, Bitbucket, and uh, like their tools are widely renowned. I mean, every big corporate or small corporate company uses them. Like uh, I worked at Expedia, Disha and Tower, and all of these three companies have do use Jira and Confluence a lot. And apart from that, they also give very good CTC. The work-life balance is good and their culture is also very good. I think in India, they only have one office, uh, which is in Bengaluru. And uh, I do know some people as well who work at Atlassian in Australia. I mean, their headquarters is in, is in Australia. And um, usually for SD2 role, you could easily get uh, 60 lakhs per annum plus CTC. Uh, I mean, uh, they are very generous with the compensation numbers and they good they give good amount of stocks as well i mean usually come i mean they give very high amount of stocks i think even uh, google does not give that much stocks i mean some of my friends have got over 100k usd plus stocks uh with atlassian and i think yeah that was mostly all about it and one more thing is that atlassian is one of the companies in india which also provide pure work from home options like pure remote options they i think give seventy thousand inr for uh setting up the work from home equipments and all so yeah 
I think that was all about it. Thank you guys for watching. Please do not forget to like, subscribe and comment on this video and I will see you all next time.